Hello guys, how are you? Thank you for being here. Once again, we return to the mystery stories about Vatican girls, missing girls in 1983 in Italy. Uh, something that is concerned to the Vatican crisis of the scandal in 1983 and the years ahead in Vatican, the secrets revealed from the Vatican. So we have a part one, do check a part one. I'm going to attach part one. If I have uh, I have already downloaded the part one, it's from yesterday. So as well, I'm going to attach it later on. Check up the story about missing Vatican girl number one, part one with Emanuela Orlandi. And this is Mirella Gregory case. So why this case is directly connected to that crisis and revealing the secrets about Vatican connected to a money laundry with the mafia guys and a global war profiters. And as well, why we are repeating this case right now in a time of the uh, World War III. This widow, now live stream later on will be downloaded as a widow, it's a part of my playlist it will be added to a two playlists a playlist with the missing people uh justice will be served with the cold cases true crime cases as well as celebrity energy reading conspiracy stories about suicide turned to a really arranged suicide turned to a homicide as well the uh, second playlist where uh, this vatican scandal will be uh, edit will be as well to a playlist, uh, Stop the War, because directly Vatican is connected to a global uh, forces that they're fighting and provoking deeper hate and cold war and prolonging the cold war state between West and East. So let's go deeper into this case. I'm still looking just for a second to add the microphone I have installed, pardon me, I have installed literally this microphone a few days ago. Sometimes it's working, sometimes no. So let's see. Is it working? I have to check first. Let's check it. Is there is a sound? Hello, hello. There is. So this is testing. There is a sign. There is a sound. Thank you. So the moderator said if there is a sign. So once again, guys, the story around Mirella Gregory this time. Do check a part, uh, part one, the Vatican girl missing, literally a girl that was living inside of Vatican, Emanuel Orlandi, belonging to a family staff that they were five, fifth generation living and working for Vatican, for the couple and how I name it. Uh, again, why Mirella Gregory case is connected? This girl was living just outside of Vatican for the one that you don't know where is the Vatican. Vatican is directly inside of the Roma, Rome, the capital city of Italy. It's a city inside of city. It's a country inside of this country as well. It has own protection, own police, own investigation, um, own investigation, and own the all their have own court system as well. So whatever happens outside of Vatican, somehow it goes to the story uh, of as well. Um, being directly uh, concerned of the police that happening something out it means going directly to the italian it means to roman uh, local city roma police as well because both cases in part one uh in the video part one emmanuel orlandi and as well mirella gregory uh, they were literally uh, kidnapped and missing it during their literally school school days inside of the city center they were both under the jurisdiction of the police of the city of roma not of the vatican police but what happened that i'm just making on the start parallel why was 
Somehow the story of Mirella Gregory nobody has heard, except the people who really do this conspiracy theory and who are literally a local Italians who were that period literally watching the news. Uh, the story of Emanuela Orlandi uh, has passed all the world because this girl was, her case was more presenting because was under the girl, the citizens inside of the Vatican village. So Vatican city, Vatican village. She was a citizen of Vatican. So so-called her status being Vatican citizens gave her priority comparing with the case of Mirella Gregory that was in a shadow. Again, uh, second example why uh, confirming that this was just promoted the case uh, and put in a, in a literally in a shadow of the first case was Mirella Gregory, the timeline, because Mirella Gregory was 40 days before, 40 days before Emanuela uh, missing, kidnapped, turned to be still missing. We don't know what happened. Is it kidnapped? Is it killed? But it's still um, under the suspicion missing person. Uh, again, guys, both cases are cold cases. So we really never found uh, literally the evidence for Emanuela. And that's why this, this case is somehow they had a similar background as well. Somehow later on when they were emerging a few years later under the power pressure uh, as well, being afraid of both of the mafia, both of the Vatican, uh, literally the people who were as a witness of both Emanuela and Mirella, they were showing up later through the telephone calls, for the information, and many, many years later, they would show a real witness of who was literally connected uh, to Emanuela's disappearance, who was in charge, who was living in the same apartment, the lover of the uh, mafia, mafia boss Enrico de Pedis uh, uh, later on was called out and there is a documentary and you can check up the newest docu documentary happening in Netflix. I do not promote Netflix. There is another conspiracy theory around Netflix, but as well documentary is attached there. So do check up. It's called Vatican Girl. So as well by just Googling. The case of Emanuela Orlandi and Mirella Gregory will show on Wikipedia. So you can just have that one as well. You can just Google conspiracy theories around both names. So it will show a lot of pages. Uh, again, if you put on a YouTube search tool, you will see just comparison. Emanuela Orlandi case, there is a lot of links on both Italian and English. While Mirella Gregory, like there's almost nothing, is just attached to a story of Emanuela. And now I'm trying to be respectable to a spirit of Mirella Gregory and literally to give her literally respect through preparing one additional separate widow just for the sake of the spirit of uh, Mirella Gregory and as well for giving the closure to her family. So not to be this time in a, in a shadow of the story of the other girl because she was the first kidnapped 40 days before Emanuela as well. Uh, later on, there was she was in a telephone call given to only family of the Emanuela. There was mentioned Mirella Gregory missing person that was confirmed that she was as well lost as well that uh, there is no help to her case. Does it mean that she was already that summer when there were talk on the telephone from the people who kidnapped, organized the fake kidnapping of Emanuela? In fact, if they pronounce there is no chance of, there is no case of hope to Mirella Gregory, we cannot help about this. Is that the saying that literally that summer she was already, already unfortunately departed from a planet Earth? Not to say that. So that's one, one thing to analyze. Again, guys, we go from the start and let's give a little bit intro. So it's such a complicated say that you see it past first 10 minutes and I'm still talking parallel between two cases. So let's go deeper.
again, why did I name this case uh, part of the Vati League? Because later on uh, in Vatic League, League, it means literally there was a leak of information, the secret file documents from the Vatican later on that literally uh, shown as well in the research of the of the um, very brave Italian journalist who published, I do believe, 2000, 2016, uh, like this is almost like 35 years later, he published uh, he pu he published uh, the book about Vatican secrets turned to be scandal. Uh, anything that is literally unofficial and published, it's turned to be always a scandal, of course. When something is secret and then exposed, it's always becoming it's always going to be uh, called out as leakage of information that they were not supposed to be given. Uh, Again, guys, we go deeper and we are going to talk this time literally about um, why this happened. Vatican League story that 2016 with literally pronounced the book of uh, Pietro, brave Pietro Orlandi. And uh, Pietro was the journalist who was, it's interesting, the family name of Orlandi, right, correct, remember, Emilia Orlandi, uh, that published research and, and documents that they were literally being exposing, they're literally exposing the, um, exposing the truth uh, uh, under the investigation journalist in Emiliano Fittipaldi, 2016 was published that book as well. He pushed as well to be brave, the family member of Orlando Pietro and as well the, the advocate Laura Sgro uh, to sign the petition literally to ask the archives and officially to ask Vatican what's happening to confirm if they are connected to financial, if they are connected financial scandals between uh, Vatican Bank, Ambrosiano Bank, uh, or the Ambrosiano with the Mafia guys, and are, is that literally they are connected to a missing, two missing girl cases, Mirella Gregori and Emanuela Orlandi. As you see in petition that they signed, the advocate Laura Sbro and as well Pietro Orlandi instead, uh, uh, instead of the family of Orlandi. Orlandi. Uh, again, this is becoming complicated and we go back uh, to give a little bit of info and uh, dedicate uh, a little bit of info of uh, Mirella Gregory, details of her life, uh, uh, timeline of her life. She was born 7th of October 1967. Uh, disappeared the 7th of May, 1983, at the age of 15. She was just two years older than Emanuela, uh, that disappeared 40 days after her. Uh, it's, it seems that even today, after right now, it's 20, 2022, almost the end of the year, so it will be almost full 40 years, less than 40 years ago, uh, it's still unsolved case, it's still cold case, unsolved, and what's the mystery round? We are going to try to connect, guys, with the different um, with the different tools in esoteric methods, and of course with my tarot, and we are going to try uh, to talk as well, uh, me as a historian and, uh, and as well researcher of geopolitics and just going to try to explain what are the theories and what are the the not just the theory what are the possible po possible real uh real reason why this happened why this game and charade uh, with the missing girls uh happened around vatican and concerning to the financial scandal so uh both Gregory and Volandi case led to the Greg Grey Wolves. That's what is starting like connected to international events because extremist uh, Turkish group Grey Wolves 
uh, was claiming to be involved in abduction and demanding the release of Mehmet Ali Acha. The first one information was like just confusion. Uh, this is the interaction, the Grey Wolves, uh, fanatics of Turkish group, that they wanted to deliberate Mehmet Ali Acha be because he was the one in from the 13 May 1981 when he literally uh, tried to 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 kill uh, Pope John Paul II on St Peter's Square 13 May. Uh, literally, as well uh, by this action, uh, literally uh, they were supposed to blackmail now the officials of the Italy and both Vatican by kidnapping one girl from the Roma, from Italian society as well, one girl from the Vatican society because they're a country inside of the country. But definitely the target was blackmailing, who was what was the final goal, the, to blackmail the Vatican, to expose the Vatican, Vatican because there was definitely uh, the unfinished business between Vatican and who else? Is it the Grey Wolves? No, not at all. But this messy situation with faking the disappearance, the, with literally arranging the kidnapping that was supposed to be fake kidnapping, just a warning to Vatican to return the money that belonged, a dirty laundry money that was literally showing up through the Bank of Ambrosiana, the bank that later on collapsed, after 1981 collapsed and literally uh, there was a case of uh, arranged suicide eventually um, uh, execution on the British bridge on the London bridge of the chairman of the bank uh, bank Habersian after literally the bankruptcy uh, the, the case of execution of Calvi that was called a God's banker the banker of Papa of Vatican because he was the chairman of president of the uh, of the bank of the of the bank Ambrosiana. It is a Vatican name for the Vatican Bank officially. That was all the time doing the laundry of the dirty money from war, whatever was the region, but definitely for the local as well, the Italian mafia, and as well at some point the money disappeared exactly in the period when it was literally. Uh, during the, the the same period, the same period uh, when Papa start to support political sending. Whenever it's a political influence, there is always need of money. So you have to literally buy off the political influence in some country. If you want to interfere in the politics of some country, you have to send a lot of money to promote the politics and to promote the rebellions to stand up and make the independence of some country or, or independence from some that country from other countries, bigger power, like it, that case was a story of a Poland inside of the East Bloc and trying to be independent, literally uh, uh, detaching uh, Poland from East Bloc directly from Soviet Union, dash turned to be today Russian Republic. So this turned to a totally cold war situation because the money that was a dirty laundry money that was transferred in a new form uh, in the Vatican Bank was used not to return back. That was literally um, uh, stayed inside uh, of the Vatican and was literally used in another uh, on another side outside of Italy, outside the Vatican, not returned to the. The logical would be the, to return the dirty laundry money put inside the bank and then return back in the new form uh, uh, directly to one of the accounts of the mafia guys. But this time didn't happen, was stopped, was disappeared. And money that disappeared, it seems like uh, was officially revealed in the documents letter of Vatican that was used directly in Poland in provoking the Cold War and uh, provoking literally the crisis in Poland to weaken the Russia, to have independence of Poland from the Russia influence, Soviet Union at that time called still Soviet Union till 1988. And everything as well was a part, just think about, it was, was still as well, it was still a time before 
as well, Berlin was toys. So yes, totally breaking this block was the final cause as well. So how we go to this story? Is it really a Turkish people? Do they care from the about the East Bloc? Is it a Grey Wolf uh, concerned to break up the East Bloc? Of course, no. Who is behind this story? Always, of course, it's the opponent from the East Bloc. Is the West side as well? You know, interference of which country? And as well, in a telephone call during the days so when it was 40 days after um, Mirella's disappearance was disappeared, Emanuela, and telephone call to their family uh, that they were later on as well because of the Vatican Papa protection, even recorded every telephone call was showing up the voice that was on the first call accusing that we are the grave wolves and we want and this to you to liberate Ali Acha. Um, and then we are going to return the, the girl, Emanuela, as well. The second call would say as well, we are here uh, behind the Ali Acha as well. Ali Acha later on would uh, give a, a small tip, decided after two years of silence during the case of Emanuela Orlandi, start to talk. So finally, he has idea to be a rat and to give the story that eventually he was not doing it for the Turkey. He was not doing it for a grey wolf. He was in contact with Bulgarians. Bulgarians were connected to a KGB. That's so sci-fi story because, again, Bulgarians, they do not like, like Polish people, they do not like uh, Russia, Soviet Union, even if they were belonging then. Like, it was totally not logical. These stories are really, like, really like a messy and bad, bad representation of the things. Again, I wouldn't call it, of course, definitely, I would reject on the start, was really a KGB behind kidnapping of Mirella Gregory. By the way, let's see. KGB, was it the KGB concern of Mirella Gregory case? No, there is a strategy. Look at guys. There is strategy contract with the devil. We don't know the secret contract. These are the globalist thing. Look at the teaming up the money, the dirty laundry money as well. This was just a manipulation for the statement. Yes, as well. Later on, there was a proof by revealing the Vatican secrets that that was just a trick. Uh, again, uh, let's see more. The next thing uh, was really one second as well it's interesting that the second tip from Mehmet Ali Acha uh, during that uh, summer of disappearance of Emanuela and Mirella literally uh, Mehmet Ali Acha from the um, prison inside of Italy he was starting to talk and he literally would say that as well uh, Mirella and Manuela case as well, they are connected to the disappearance plus of a Soviet journalist, Oleg G. Bitov, uh, from a Venice Film Festival se September 9, that same year, 1983. That's an interesting thing, right? Wow, here we go. Oleg G. Bitov. And how Mehmet Ali Acha knows this if he's already sorry guys if the guy is from 1981 in a prison how he could be a witness and how he could be a clairvoyance uh, of oracle uh, for the information that they're happening two years later while he's in a prison right that's something is here red flag again one more red flag like we had a red flag that this is a lie about KGB being involved in this case. And now the second red flag, like, wow, why we should think about Mehmet Ali Acha literally talking about talking about uh, his info's a connection uh, of the disappearance of the Soviet journalist Oleg Bito from the Venice Festival 9th September, connected to the uh, July disappearance of Emilia same year and the May in May uh, 1983 disappearance of Mirella Gregory. Um, who told Mehmed Ali Acha? Finally, if Mehmed Ali Acha was a tool, who's 
tool he was. He was not the tool of a gray wolf um, as well. He was not a tool of KGB, not CIA. Again, whose tool he was? I'm going to check that thing as well. Let's go and check up the second question, right? Second question, if he's not a KGB connected, if he's not a Grey Wolf, is Mekendalia Archer connected to CIA? Wow. First of all, there is immaturity in decision, whatever, but it's pretty messy. It's immaturity of decision, pretty messy about teaming up. And again, I do feel this is energy strategy, but very not smart strategy of manipulation and just he's a target to literally move give him a little bit of money inside the prison and he has to say some things as well there is a proof that he was just to postpone the cycle of the real clue and the real cycle would be uh revealing the vatican scandals that there is a contract literally there is a contract with the mafias and literally Look at the big boss, contract with the big boss, right? That they were literally a best friends, Vatican and the Mafia guys. Wow, that they were literally the big friends. And later on, whatever was manipulation through the telephone calls towards the Emanuela family, right, guys? There was mentioning Mirella Gregory disappearance, but as well, we cannot help nothing about Mirella Gregory anymore. But while they were still pretending like literally they were claiming on a telephone call uh toward uh, on a telephone call with the family of orlandi that still emanuela uh their daughter is still alive again this manipulation from a telephone call right was just to postpone the secret about the vatican real purpose that she was just a tool to blackmail the vatican um, it's very interesting later that year, I remember, was that the, the family of Orlandi, they were during that Christmas procession, uh, the, is it the day before Christmas? I mean, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, that same day was literally, there was a call from, directly from Papa office and there was, with no preparation, there was just a statement that morning that, Papa is going to, the po uh, Pope will visit, Papa is very Italian, they say Papa, Pope is going to visit the family Orlandi that same morning. When he arrived, there's literally a picture as well of them arriving and staying just a few minutes. And as well, there was no even time literally to talk about the case of Emanuela, their daughter, a sibling, sister, uh, there was literally the frozen state, the, the statement of the Pope that frozen the family, uh, literally, because he just made a flat line statement like embracing, embracing the, the family members, uh, letting them to kiss his hand. Oh, really, I hate that part when they're kissing the hand of the human. Uh, while they are not a divine energy, sorry guys, sorry guys, I'm talking in a historian religion, like because there is only one guy up of the planet, and the rest of the people they are simple people. Why we are kissing the hands of gurus and the church members? This I never understood. And again, um, Pope made the statement uh, embracing this stuff trying to comfort this family, giving them respect to show up on the Christmas Eve uh, to their door inside his village. It's happening in the story in Vatican village because this family was living in Vatican village. The Pope made a statement that Emanuela is now safe on heaven. Like Emanuela is now on heaven. So why would Pope dare to make that statement while literally the brother who was all life is still now, the brother of Emanuela is still researching and uh, researching and keeping the, the keeping, keeping a watch uh, over the, this cold case all over all these years, like guys, 40 years, 40 years happened ago. A long time ago and uh, why the Pope would that same year 
just some few months later from their disappearance of the girl just made the statement and Manuela is in heaven. But the parents were never informed that day, before that, they were after what really happened and never till now what really happens that Pope would make a statement that Manuela is heaven. It turns to be translated to in that, that she's dead. What kind of what kind of facts Pope was having in his hands? What kind of documents or statement he was having from a trusted surrounding of Pope? Again, guys, like I just feel energy that there is a conspiracy around Pope that the Pope was not even aware of what was happening. Personally, that's my opinion that this this directly this John II was not aware this conspiracy around with the greedy, greedy people around him as well. The the greedy turned to be a perverse one, uh, you know, children lovers, translated of ancient Greek, that is a medical term for this P E D I A Phil, right? This is a term where we're getting towards connection. It's get it's well, it's getting more weird because as well, that term logically take us back to a connection that the Vatican was having a, a, a scam on material financial dirty money laundry with the mafia guy that the boss of that mafia, mafia group at that period, the biggest strongest group in Roma was Enrico de Pedis. It's very interesting. We go again to the root that of the name is Pedis and as well when you think about that root the same name on ancient Greek and still on the modern Greek is meaning again children. And somehow this this thing takes me all the time around the story of the children abusing case and why the children were here at tools for a secret perverse um, monks inside of the Vatican. I'm not talking about Pope, I'm talking around the archbishop around him that they literally has uh, been seen and they were literally uh, uh, flirting with Emanuela inside as well they were as well involved with Mirella Gregory what I understood because as well I see there are some documents where as well Mirella Gregory is on some photos as well they are waving to a biggest uh, biggest uh, biggest monk uh, uh, Clark of that Vatican City uh, while they're passing there, you know, and waving uh, their inside uh, of the procession, usual Sunday procession every Sunday in St. Uh, in, uh, in Peter's Square in Rome. Uh, so it seems like complicated, but it's getting very simple the way I'm explaining you in the part one and finally in part two it's getting very easy easy to explain and somehow this case uh as well the guy who was calling going back to the gregory case because as well i'm always making a parallel between two cases it it is literally the stated that uh, mirella gregory left her house after receiving an Call from a classmate Alessandro, a friend of a classmate Alessandro, and that he told her that they are waiting downstairs and that uh, they were calling him from the interphone. Imagine this was not a period of the any mobile telephone, so so they would press the interphone in front of the the speaker in front of the the door of that uh, building, and then they would call her out. Oh, we are in front of your building. Come and join us. She told her mother she won't be. She won't be late in 10 minutes. She's going just to see the classmate outside. And that was the last time she was seen. As well, December 1985, the Pope was visiting the Rome parish and Gregory Mother is already recognized a man. She recognized the man in the papyrus, but like I said, she really recognized the man who was escorting Papa as the it would be called like a priest procession, right? Uh, when they're walking over the street and the people around are just waving and waiting for the blessing. And 
that same person that was in one of the person Papa escorts uh, a monk priest uh, was the person who often came to pick up her daughter at the house. How spooky is this? Because her daughter was just less than 15 years old if she was seen before her departure this girl was less than 15 years old if she was seen leaving her daughter uh, more than once picking up her daughter at the house like why why any why any priest would come priest male would come not even a nun would come to take a young girl and to pick her up with the car. And you know just the connection, because as well, Emanuela, Emanuela Orlandi, when she was supposed to be delivered to a Vatican City, returned to Vatican after a short period of uh, kidnapping and uh, being away in a house, summer house of the of the lover of Enrico de Tedis, that mafia boss, um, that lady that was literally still alive and talking, her lover, the mafia boss, uh, is dead, so they cannot tell him, but literally uh, his lover is still alive and talking in small details and repeating thousands of times to different journals the same story and the police, and it was always the same story. So uh, literally she said that she was driving the car to deliver the girl back to the vatican gate on the first point there is a vatican before entering there is a vatican gas station only for the staff of the vatican uh outside of the castello of the of the castle of the of vatican and literally uh there was supposed to be a meeting so she drove there and there was coming and arriving another car in that car was just coming outside a guy who was a clerk, a priest in, of the Vatican, and he took uh, Emanuela, and Emanuela was last time seen then in that car, and never again inside of the Italy, uh, nor in the circles of, not from the journalists, nor in the circles of the own, her own previous kidnappers, that they were this uh, group teamwork organized by Enrico, the Pettis mafia boss. Uh, as well, that there is a name of that priest uh, that Maria Gregori mother recognized him, and it's interesting because this this guy name, as you see, the truth is always to be revealed. The justice has to be served. Somehow the justice was not served, but as well the truth always, at least if justice is not delivered, it even if there are big forces, dark forces, that they're protecting from um, exposing the bigger thing behind this case, that there is definitely a perverse people inside of the Vatican and they, they just want to still keep it cool and not exposing them, at least at that period. Uh, still, uh, as you see, the justice, the truth has to be out, thanks to the Gregory uh, Mirella a mother case in, in this case. So who is Raul Bonarelli and what happened with him later on? Uh, we are going to check as well that thing. Let me check. So the man who literally has taken uh, Mirella Gregori as well, a uh, man who was uh, taking Emanuela Orlandi, was it the same person? Was Raul Bonarelli the same with uh, Emanuela? Wow, he was the one who was delivering the execution. Yes, this was literally a final, a final thing because using Mirella. Yes, he has to walk away from this. Yes, he took them as you see, kidnapped them, and then he had to walk away. As well, let me see. It's interesting. I'm going to keep the card of the death because it seems like crucial here. He was the one delivering the, the, the execution. 
responsible for their disappearance. I have a card of kidnapping them with the nine of wands, putting them in a prison, and then as well execution because not to tell the truth. Raul, uh, uh, Raul Bonarelli was he sexually abusing uh, Mirella? Yes. Uh, was Raul Bonarelli sexually abusing uh, Emanuela? Wow, look at the judgment. That was a judgment call. And yes, it's a tough. Uh, and yes, he, he regret because he couldn't control this. This was inside of him, this, this, this devil inside of him that he couldn't regret later on uh, as well. Look at it seems like there was somebody who was asking the truth about who was asking later on the truth about uh, Raul Bonarelli and as well he was exposed as a sexual predator. Yes, uh, it was giving him a hard time and he really had to leave them uh, as well. This was asked from his own boss that was Papa. I guess that he needs to release them and as well everything needs to be covered. Um, uh, was directly from the Vatican, from the Pope, directed to disappear Manuela? Six of Cups. Wow, the friends circle. There we started to talk. Guys, there was a story. Look at guys. There was a story that there was a friend of Emanuela. Look at the circle of friends. Was literally talking. Wow. The friend of a friend. Uh, literally, they started to talk uh, of the connection of the man trying to um, have affair, to um, trying to flirt with Emanuela more than once. As well, the uh, Mirella Gregory story confirming as well that same monk who was directly connected to a papa, uh, seen with him, a person she saw him during the procession on Roma Street. Um, that same man, Raul Bonavelli, was seen as a part, being a part of this um, team uh, closest to papa. Um, he has to be as well moved from that position. So I'm going to check as well. Yes, look at they have as well to move the girl. First idea was to move the girl abroad. So my question is, was Mirella Gregory moved abroad like Emanuela? Because there is a proof literary documents where they're saying Emanuela was moved to for 15 years, was moved to London as well later on whatever was uh, paying the bills for Emanuela Orlandi case in London uh, living in a dress of some uh, Catholic um, order uh, in a monastery uh, inside of London um, the date when was the last bill about her case literally it was such a big amount that eventually they would say that that was the, exactly the bill how much it would be to pay uh, a person that is dead in London to depart London and arrive as a cargo to Italy at that period and how much was the, the big bill. So they do think that after 15 years she was dead and returned the remains. But where are the remains? And again, yes, the answer is yes, look at, uh, again, I'm going to repeat, was Mirella Gregory in the same place in London with Manuela? Yes, it was a right decision to move them together and imprison them, look at, just away from this country as well, put them in a prison. So what the destiny is. So eventually, uh, was Mirella and Emanuela living in the next 15 years, both of them? Kept by sight. Wow, and same the thing like before. Wow. As well, keep by side still in prison, not to tell the truth. You know what is happening? Because all the secrets that they would receive, look at the Papa is here himself, it's interesting. 
All the secrets that they would all the time reveal these mothers, this family of the both, Mirella and Emanuela, when they would research something, searching for the truth all the time with the queen, uh, with the queen of swords energy, wanting the truth, the sword is the truth here. Uh, they're in a position, having a power all the time, insisting to give the truth and fight for the truth about their daughters. Uh, and here it is all the time, there is exposing every new detail would expose, look at the Vatican. And they wanted the Vatican reaction would to postpone the cycle of delivering the truth. And uh that's the whole spirit because Vatican was involved in that messy financial uh scandal um with delivering not delivering money back from the dirty launch inside Vatican Bank and uh, as well it would include as well uh, not just a greedy material world inside the Vatican it would include as well them interfering in politics of the Poland Soviet Union uh, interfering in uh, global politics, like today they're interfering into uh, politics uh, of Zelensky in Ukraine, and now uh, then they were uh, they're interfering into the politics of Poland. I mean, helping them out against the Soviet Union now turned to a Russia, and as well as well, what kind of money they would have then and now? Always a dirty laundry money. So uh, is that a, a idea again that there is a connection Vatican to a uh, Illuminati, to the Freemasonry, uh, to this um, uh, world globalist uh, monitor financial elite? Um, the final result, yes, there is a things that they are exposed as well that. Literally, somebody else on the top of the pyramid that everybody knows about that person, person of the power. And this person of the power, they wanted to postpone the cycle uh, because they were in alliance with the Vatican. Wow, I'm going to reveal it here. Yes, as well. Are there the remains inside of the room in October 2018? Um, remains that they were found under literally under the Vatican uh, on the cemetery, one of the two places of the Vatican cemetery. Uh, there was literally again the message said that uh, the Mirella or Emanuela they would be found uh, under the angel in one of the Vatican cemetery. Just look for the angel. So let's see. Um, I'm going to check. Was it Mirella? Yes, they were there. But there is what was tricks, like they were sacrificed. Wow. Is it really under, is there really Luciferian rituals under the Vatican? So was that Emanuela as well there return? was Emanuela as well he turned there it's interesting because we look at because Mirella seems like she was literally sacrificed was Emanuela as well sacrificed sacrificed guys it's interesting because here under the Vatican, inside of the Vatican, somebody who is living and working, a Vatican priest, literally, who has that predator energy, who would sacrifice Mirella to keep her quiet, right? Uh, why, why uh, again, for Mirella case, the energy goes there. But as well, I'm going to check Emanuela again. Emanuela, did Emanuela Orlandi really die in London? Yes, yes, that was a pure strategy to put her away from the motherland, but as well why she was there literally. It seems like her her mental state was deter deterior deteriorated, right? And it was aggravated her she was definitely losing the strength, mental strength, of course, whoever 
when he would be in prison, right? And literally, uh, uh, there was that nerve-breaking state that literally provoked as well uh, her health to deteriorate. Again, Emanuela was Emanuela executed? Yes. From the steam workers. And there is definitely a proof, like a document of the papers, because the last day bill around Emanuela, in the case of Emanuela Rolandi, there are a whole bunch of bills for many years, 15 years after her disappearance. So the biggest bill was the last one. And since like that last bill, there is a proof literally in, in the paper thing, in these documents. And that last biggest bill, like a proof that literally somebody was paid, literally uh, paid literally to do uh, removing of Emanuela Orlandi. Wow, poor girl. I want to again light the candle for these two girls. Uh, both Emanuela Orlandi as well. Rest in peace, Emanuela Orlandi. Wow, I have now cheers from. I have really cheers from delivering this message as well. Uh, rest in peace, Mirvella. As well, rest in peace, Mirvella Gregory. Wow, I like this when I have information from the candle. I wish to put a little bit for her once again, guys. Let me put a little bit of this for the better. So let me record this. Uh, my last concern, my last concern uh will we ever with the new deck will we ever have a priest telling us the story revealing the truth about these two girls emmanuel and Mirella? will there be a priest telling the truth first of all there is a strategy of them keeping them quiet but like seems like a new new order new papa and uh, will be revealing the truth about this perverse energy that there was inside of their flock. Definitely there were the perverse people inside of the flock. There were as well material people who were putting the dirty money laundry inside of the Vatican Bank. Uh, not necessarily, not the Pope himself, but the people around him. As well, there was an alliance, trusted circle of the people who were belonging to this greedy uh, energy. But the new circle will bring it's really like a guys, like a literally like um inside of one uh, of any church. It's like in a parliament of the uh, the of the literally civil civil parliament is the same like in a Vatican. You have a fight like a spiritual war fight of the darkness and uh, goodness. It's a fight of the one that are materially greedy under the Luciferian energy and another that they're literally look at guys like the people who are uh, literally representative of the heaven. And literally, there will be a new people to trust. The news will come from the new energy. Uh, literally, like I see it takes a time uh, for the spiritual world to uh, literally be finally one with the new people who will be on the top of the uh, spiritual leaders, the new one, not this one. The new one had to come and to reveal all the dark secrets of the Luciferian energy uh, inside of the of this uh, inside of this. Of Vatican City, and yes, there are material people like inside of any church. There are people who are uh, materially greedy everywhere, and at the end, these are the people, and they are suffering with their own suffering with their own uh, weak points, 
and we cannot change. Eventually, there is nothing, nothing new to say about this. Uh, just that material greediness has put and willing to keep in silence and not to expose the secrets of Vatican has put, has taken the toll uh, with these two cases with Mirella and Emanuela. They were just the two marionette uh, just written between the fire of the Vatican and the mafia that they wanted that missing part of the money. One second, and then just one second. Let me just verify this in a short version, 60 seconds. Disappearance of Mirella Gregory, another girl in a Vatican case, Vatican scandal. So Mirella Gregory dis disappeared, uh, was kidnapped and disappeared and still not found after 40 years. Uh, the year of 1983 when there was a Vatican scandal to be exposed. Uh, Mirella Gregory that was taken from the greasy predators uh, inside of the Vatican uh, that her mother recognized that same priest later on one of the staff of the Papa in procession there was literally evidence for that as well there was a material greediness literally a people who tr are trusted in working for Vatican connected to a dirty money laundry of mafia and uh, they would know a lot, not just about perverse thing, about dirty money laundry. So Emanuela and both uh, Mirella, they were the victim of a hostage. Uh, they were the moved from there. They were put as a hostage. Uh, they, are, they were flown to London as well. And they had to as well to be, unfortunately, their life to be cancelled. Vatican secret.
let's hope guys that the new generation like literally that is a message that the new generation whatever the justice was kept postponed to the chariot card they know the truth the papa and the vatican know the truth but they are postponing the cycle to deliver but there will be a new priest, priest a new generation there was literally it's coming like a new generation of the priests that they are going to talk about what was the the greedy and dirty people inside of their staff um and that new generation will reveal the secrets of Emanuela and Mirella. And let's hope for that. Amen. And rest in peace, Mirella Gregory, and rest in peace, Emanuela Orlandi, and all the victims of any children's sexual abuse. And let the justice will be served, guys. Don't forget to share this video community, hit the like, subscribe, and put a large bell join daily news and new conspiracy theories and daily horoscope tarot news as well thank you in advance for any kind of a paypal donation there is a link below that will join my fundraising for my local humanitarian project back uh, in asia where my good karma is more than 15 years as well there is a part of my educational program that, that is joining the politics of cultural peace with uh other playlists stop the war as well the playlist justice will be served so check the both and share with your community peace and love and never stop praying uh war to be stopped wherever is the war and all the victims of the war to be safe